This is neither the introduction nor the video I was planning on making. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian. You're watching Angling Anarchy. Sorry for the strange intro there. I will explain what's going on with that later in the video. This video is going to be of day four fishing Lake St. Clair at the end of November. I was with my good friend Ben Stone from canalgratis.com YouTube channel. Fantastic YouTube channel. You should check it out. I'll link it in the description below. Ben and I went over to Detroit to fish with our good friends Captain Mark Kornowski for a couple of days and then this last day we were actually fishing with Mike Ducci who has a really cool lineage out on Lake St. Clair. His grandfather was actually one of the first trollers, uh, first big musky fishermen out on Lake St. Clair. So uh, Mike knows what he is doing out there. Now up to this point on our trip, Ben and I have been pretty lucky to put a fish, at least one fish in the boat and contact a few fish every day. So we were able to make a video. For us, that's our primary concern anymore really as content creators trying to make videos to share with you guys obviously the fishing is still fun and that's what we want to do but our passion also lies within using cameras to capture all of this and eventually make videos from it in fact that is ben's full-time job he is a full-time youtuber for canal gratis to explain why this isn't exactly the video that i would want to make and why the intro was not the intro that i had originally filmed I was contacted uh, by someone after the fact, after we'd been fishing for the day, asking me not to show the background. Not something I typically worry about. I don't like the way it makes the video look. It's a heck of a lot more work for me, quite honestly, to try to blur it out, especially when the boat's moving around. You might have noticed that in one of the previous St. Clair episodes where we were fishing this same area. I went back and tried to blur out as much as I could, but with the boat bouncing around, it was it was pretty tough, but I was able to do it on that video. This one, there was just so much shot back towards this background that I just I couldn't use the intro. It's going to be tough to use some of the footage. Although, what I'm going to do is put together as much of it, explain what's happening, and hopefully we can get something out of this. Now, as I said, things were going very well, and this last day, we went out with Mike to a spot we had fished two days previous. I got a nice 48 inch fish, so we were pretty stoked about being able to get back to the spot because the weather was keeping us away from it. It's, it was a pretty long ride across the lake and we had conditions, at least for a little while in the morning, that we could actually get across the lake and get to the spot. We get to the spot, there's a couple other boats working it, but it's a large spot, so we fall in line. And a couple minutes in, I, got hit and sort of funny what happened uh you'll be able to tell why this is a lot more fun when the waves aren't trying to kill you I should remember to set the hook straight up. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to knock fish. Oh, it came off. Right there. See, there's the boil. You were saying? I was just saying I'm going to have to set the hook strange, and I, I did, and I don't think I got it as good as I usually would. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ah. I was uh, I was on such a good streak of like landing it too. <laughs> I'm pretty I pretty much called that one. I was reeling my Poseidon in, thinking, man, it's going to be tough to make a hook set to the side because Ben is standing right there. And in the middle, practically of saying that, uh, I just got whacked pretty hard and didn't get a real good hook set. I was kind of hoping it was going to work out, but obviously it did not. Now, just to pile on my misery for the day after missing that first fish, I switched positions with Ben and felt really confident that I was going to be able to set the hook to the side without knocking anybody out of the boat. And then this happened. Like, I was like, 
Which one is it? <laughs> You're freaking me out. <laughs> I it was a fish. And everything was great. <laughs> yeah, no, when we were in Iowa, there's so many like trees and stuff along this floor. It's like you hit so many, so you get used to it. And like. Fish. God oh. dang it. Yep. Ooh. Gotta Wait, just. I got a bright Medusa. <sighs> One more and it's suicide watch. <laughs> God. Just stop. Relax. Okay. Everyone has a window. Obviously in that one my drag slipped really really bad. I don't know What happened quite honestly? I think just casting heavy baits with that Tranks 500 it worked its way back I hadn't checked it for a well, while. I checked it that morning actually and it was fine. So somewhere along the way it got bumped Something happened. I should have been checking the drag more often and I paid the price for not checking it out Obviously at this point. I'm pretty frustrated. I really wish I could have gotten at least one of those fish in the boat, if not both. I had hooks in both of them, so a little miffed about that. Just hoping that we can get another chance at a fish. And we do get another chance at a fish. Ben has a fish come in pretty low. It was tough for him to see. He works the fish a couple of times, and he finally gets it to bite. And it was a really cool hit. The audacity for him to come to the boat. <laughs> Just eat it, yeah. Just eat it. Take a peek at it. See what's going on. <laughs> There's one. She was freaking hot. Was she right on it? Yeah, and then she just kind of sank. Oh, got her! Got her! Nice! Yeah, buddy! Oh, oh! Sick, dude! She just came out of nowhere! That's awesome. That's awesome. Where do you want the net, uh, dude? Okay. Dude, the thing was so pale. I'm like, where'd it go? I'm like, there it is. No, got her. <laughs> I started turning. I didn't know what to do with the freaking trolling mode. I was like, I don't want to blow water at her right now. There you go. I lost my hat. Did it go in the water? <laughs> oh no, it's right here. I, I didn't know what to do. Oh. Now, here's where our previous problem comes into play. So much of that fish, when Ben was dealing with it, getting it out of the net, holding it up, the background is right there. So I really can't do a whole lot with it. I've got a couple really cool close-ups that we can take a look at here. It was a beautiful fish. I was so glad that he was able to capture it. And I'm just sad that I can't do it justice making the video that I wanted to make. All right, well, that's that uh, for musky fishing 2021. That was the last video I had from last year, musky fishing. Just took me a little while to try to decide what to do with the footage, quite honestly. So I hope it was enjoyable, even though we couldn't make the most out of what we had. And moving forward here in 2022, we've got a couple more musky expos coming up. I will be speaking at the Wausau Muskie Expo, the Wisconsin Muskie Expo in Wausau, Wisconsin, March 18th at 3.30, talking about uh, this sort of thing, talking about using cameras to film muskie fishing, not necessarily making YouTube videos, but just for your own use so you can capture moments in the boat. All right, folks, thanks for sticking with me on this one. I really do appreciate every single one of you that watches and subscribes and hits the like button and all that fun stuff. So 
thank you everyone so much. I'll see you on the next video.